on. <laughs> Welcome to the episode of the Rob Road News. I am Ken. I'm Eli. Zach. You're actually live? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jason over there eating soup. Hi, he can't talk. Hey. I'm kind of sick. Come, come closer. Not to, not to, not to, uh, like, they come closer to the mic, but not, not to, like, not to Eli, because apparently Eli's yeah, afraid of getting get closer, sick. Closer, but keep the same, like, radius from me. Look at it. He's like, 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 it's like, it's like, I don't want to spill my soup. <laughs> he's walking like an AT&T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is what you think an AT-AT walks like? Have you know. seen Star Wars? I haven't watched it for a while. Shut up. Like, Adat's like, he'd be on all Shut fours. Up. Like, Shut up. Go toss those Kleenexes. I don't know. He's telling you. Sounds like some shady business. <laughs> He's going to stab you with that. He pulls out a gun. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> What'd you say about my suit? That, that just means you're keeping a gun in your Kleenex box. I don't so, know why you do does it. So Jay's, Jay's been sick. Yep. So that's what he's been doing. What have you guys been up to lately? Been week. Yeah, that's been that's <laughs> a No, that's been fucking Jay's week. Because, like, I come, like... I the think, Halloween, I got fucking sick. Yeah, because he's, like... I, like, when Jay gets sick, he plays an, like, egregious, he plays an egregious amount of Minecraft when he's sick. It's one of the weirdest, like... I noticed that when I walked in yesterday, actually, he was playing Minecraft. I was like, yeah, what a weirdo. You were here yesterday? Yeah, he stopped here. I stopped I'm by like, because... Who I, the fuck is, like, yeah, oh, I got Eli. here, like, at, like, 4.45. Like, they might not have left yet, because it was at, like, 7.10. And then you were like, yeah, I'm here. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. They're not a demon. Oh, you guys, okay. that's right. Okay, that's right. We went to went to Thor last night, and Jay was sick, and I felt really bad because that, that movie was, like, Eli didn't like it, but I, I thought it was really I still funny. thought it was good. I don't... Right. If I'm not sick, I'll watch it tomorrow. It's good. I, I recommend it. Uh, what have you been up to, Eli? <laughs> Building ramps? Yeah. <laughs> I built a ramp. That's why I wasn't here last week, but, uh... No, I've been doing various jobs and then just just playing games pretty much my week. What have you been playing? A For game. Fortnite, co- right? Uh, not as much. Was it Smite you've been playing? I've been playing Smite. Okay. The new one, the Smite Tactics one, or no? Uh, a little bit, but more just regular Smite. The the Hand of the Gods is is a fun game though. All right. It's, it's different. But, I mean, it has to be because every card game has its like own little fucking. Thing that it does differently. Right. Other than that, I've been playing a game called Crusader Kings 2. Is that the. on PC? Yeah, it's on Steam. It's the, uh. Build a Castle. Is it? Build a Castle. Like you run an empire? Yes. Okay. I However, played the first game. Okay, I was gonna tell you, don't buy the second one unless it's on a sale. Right, which it was on the Steam Halloween sale. That's why. Because I because I, I have the first I had the first one originally and it, it it was really fun to me. Yeah, I I enjoy it very much. So. Actually, no, I think I had Stronghold Crusader. Never mind. Stronghold Crusader also had a all fun of those. Game. Yeah, Stronghold Crusader is fucking fun. It is. But yeah, I don't know. You said build an empire. That's not what Stronghold Crusader is. You know no. what I mean? It's like build it like that. What the fuck are you it's two like doing? Like build a castle. Oh, he started it. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, no fun fun game, but. The company itself is very shitty. It's a, four, it's like a four-year-old game, and then they recently. Uh, this is why all this. Like, if you look at the Steam reviews, it'll be like mixed or negative. It's because they. The cost is ridiculous. It, it originally it was forty dollars. Uh huh. Then it went down in price to like twenty, I think. And then like a year ago, maybe they were like, they boosted all their old games back up to their original prices to what the keep fuck? up with inflation. Beyond that, this company has a very shitty DLC policy. <laughs> so, uh, like, if you don't have one of the DLCs and your ruler converts to this religion, it's just like, yeah, game over, you don't have this, you can't go on. And she's like, ah, that's really shitty. So, like, only if it's on a sale, buy this game. And then there's so comments comes... that'll tell you what DLCs you actually need. There's a summer sale that's coming up next year. <laughs> fucking Christmas sale is before the summer <laughs> sale. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You... But there's a Thanksgiving. I know sale. you're that fucking. S- I know you're sick, but yeah. damn, fever dream. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. You want a chair? No. Jesus I am just fine. like the summer sale's coming up in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great time. I'm ready. Too. Oh. Get my original Apple II computer out. Let's do this shit. 
500 megabytes of memory? Yeah! All I can play was Snake and possibly Oregon's Trail. <laughs> like half of Tetris. Don't forget Minesweeper. <laughs> if it gets half up, can't do it. <laughs> what about you, Zach? Right. What are you even up to? Oh, just work. That's about it. Okay. Gil? Trying to not fuck up my sleeping schedule. Too late. I yeah. have to fuck up my sleeping schedule tonight. It's a weird night because I got to do over an overnight tomorrow, so I have to at least stay uh, up until two to equivocate how long I have to be up. So it's it's been weird. Um, I have uh, four packs of five hour energy and a monster. So. <laughs> that explains why you have those. Yeah, yeah, I usually do four <coughs> packs of five hour energy for what basically because we usually get done here at like eleven or midnight. Right. So it's like for three hours you have four things. <laughs> well, this is energy. like I'm also saving these for Black Friday too because I have to be. I'm probably gonna work an overnight on Black Friday. That's disgusting. Yeah, oh, it's fuck. fine. I forgot Saber Monday's coming up. Right, so, like, <laughs> and also at the same out. time, I'm trying to think that, like, because next week they have their friend's birthday, so I'm thinking the week after Thanksgiving, we were just going to, the week before Thanksgiving, I was going to make a turkey for everyone and just invite people to come <coughs> turkey and ham. Because turkey and ham is a shit. It is. And mashed yeah, potatoes. What you should do is at their friend's birthday party, mm-hmm. they have any sort of group drink, just empty five-hour energy into that. Oh. I'll, just give, I'll just give Jay some jungle juice and say there's no five-hour energy in it. And then just... Oh. Yeah, he's that already awesome. sick, though. I don't, I don't know if you want that. How, I'm not going to drink it. Like, I'm, yeah. not gonna, I'm not going to be there. Like, put some I, rum. I'm going to put five-hour energy. Like, I have that weekend oh. off, but I, like, yeah, I don't... live with this man. Yeah, but I don't know I don't know Josh very well, so I'm not gonna go to his I'm not gonna go his birthday extravaganza. See, that's why you can do it. It's because you don't know it very well. Yeah, so but I don't like, know it was you. Right? No, he like, listens to the podcast. Then he'll I don't think know he does. It was you? No, he does it. Like I, I, I don't <laughs> no. like like you said. I don't mind Josh, but I also don't like Josh's girlfriend. So like, even if Jay is like, do you want to come up to Sioux Falls with me? No. Most of us don't like his girlfriend. Oh, wait, is that like Josh that I play Xbox with? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably do it. It'd be fun. Yeah, no, we'll be good. But that's uh, like Blame Ryan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's why I put wild X. card. I would, put, I would put ecstasy in that, and then just blame Ryan. But no, like yeah. Even if Jay's like, do you want to come with him? Like, nah, I don't really like Joey. And the last time Jay went up there, he played the two-day game of Monopoly and didn't come home, and I had to stay with our shitty ex-roommate. For two days in the most awk- two-day game of Monopoly. No, I didn't play two-day game of Monopoly. It was. I came up there. No, I went for training. Was the last time I no, was. No, no, no. Sorry. When I, when it was, we were. I'm sorry. I was talking about Josh's last birthday thing. You played a two game day of Monopoly, two game day of Monopoly with Max, because you guys were supposed to leave that early morning. And you guys got caught up playing Monopoly. You want to try that again? <coughs> oh no, because we went. Yeah, we went to the con- we went to the yeah. concert, and then Monopoly with Josh and his girlfriend is convoluted and shouldn't happen. They yeah, use Monopoly really favorites. shouldn't happen in general. Yeah. It's no, a lot this Monopoly games. is if you don't do this, I won't give you blowjobs. So. Oh. Yeah, that was it. Was stupid. It ended up like I lost. Start threatening. Because Joey like, and you Josh had a lot of. You're right in the penis. Then it won't matter. Rusty <laughs> spoon. <laughs> yes. Rusty spoon your ass. Oh. <laughs> we we had a r- real conversation <laughs> about what utensil is good to have sex with, and Eli said spoon. So. No, that's just Jay's insult, and I was throwing logic yeah, behind it. It, yeah, it is the best. If if I had to pick a rusty utensil between <laughs> that fork and knife, I'd go with spoon. Yeah, no, but Adam could probably do some damage. Yeah, yeah but you're going but for pleasure. You're a fucking fork yeah. and a knife. Yeah. You're going this for... is the only one I might not end Some up with. Some people are like, really sick. They might choose This is the only fork. one that I might oh. not end up with internal bleeding. <laughs> Right, no, no, no. So yeah. we have no trailers this week, which is really, which is fine with me. <coughs> so we're gonna go straight to the news. Lupe Nyong'o and Josh Gad. Lupe Nyong'o is um, Lupe Fiasco. No, fuck off. Um, <laughs> Get out of here. Lupe Nyong'o is she played the the fortune teller alien in uh, Oz Kanata. Yeah. In Star Wars Force Awakens. Yes, thank you, Jay. Yeah, so is that like my... the super short? Yeah. Okay. The orange chick with the weird yeah. goggles. I don't know other way. Okay. She's black, just like... That's the only way I can... Okay. <laughs> just... All right. And Josh Gaddett played Olaf, and he's the fat guy from Beauty and the Beast. But yeah. He didn't even I watch that. Like, I'm not... No, I didn't watch it. Am I explaining this I don't have a girlfriend. Beauty and the Beast was great. The live action? Yeah. Oh, that was okay. Oh, man. Uh, I like 
<coughs> Jay, God damn it. <laughs> God did it, damn it, the beavers damned it. <laughs> the beavers did it, you f- Fuck you. It's the I'm beavers sick. did it. This is not, God didn't damn it, the beavers damned it. No, God didn't damn it, the beavers did it. Huh. And that made Eli have to walk away. God damn, I gotta get a drink and cool up. This is so stupid. <laughs> and that, so they have joined a little monster, which is an upcoming zombie rom com written and directed by Abe Forsythe. So, I only bring this story up is because the only other zombie rom-com we ever had was Warm Bodies, and even I think that's like a straight-up fucked-up movie to begin with, because at the end, he's not technically human, but human with consciousness, so they're still fucking dead bodies. That's weird. Yeah, did you ever see, like, uh... Did you ever see... Did anyone else see Warm Bodies besides me? I saw the movie Fido instead. I, I want. I'd rather see that. That movie's fucking hilarious. It is. <laughs> it's a it's a boy and a zombie. It's a great movie. Don't know what we is. don't need a zombie. Rom-com. So they're making a zombie rom com. It's a zombie yeah. romantic comedy, and I, I don't I don't know if it's gonna be like one's a human, one's a zombie because like they tried to do that, and I just maybe it's just two zombies falling in love. Probably just be two zombies. That which would make. Be, I think it could work. Isn't that what Santa Clarita Diet is about? Or something like that? No. It's a show on Netflix. I don't know. She, oh, she, she has two a, is a zombie. Yeah, and then her husband is feeding her. Yeah. So I mean, that's but it's a comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's. I mean, if it, they go to that goriness, like, like that I was, like Santa Clarita. It was funny. Diet. It's funny. It's enjoyable to to me. I thought it was. Enjoyable. Yeah, it is. I'm glad I'm glad Jay's here because it's it's the it's the Star Wars hour. Oh boy. Real quick. Well, we have uh, Star Wars. What can we add George a bit of the Matrix in it? I will kill you. But John's Fuck the Matrix. Are you killing me or Gil? I like Gil. Uh, as I said, he said Matrix, <laughs> I said Jar Jar Binks. I wasn't really sure. <laughs> Dude, see, okay, that's fine that y'all like the prequels, which is fine. Like, I don't hate the prequels. I, I understand that what they were for cinema. They really actually did bring a lot to the cinema game when it comes to special effects and shit like that. But uh, there's an article that I wanted to bring up. is um, The actor who played Jar Jar Binks says... None of, he's, he says this, and I quote, I should stay, I should be in the testament of film time because I did, I did, I helped mocap become what it is. I can see that. Like, yeah, I don't know enough about mocap to <coughs> capture. So, well, no, like, I, I just don't know enough about, like, so how it, it was before and how it was He literally just put a, like, a, dear, okay, I'll just show you the Jar Jar Binks mocap. Well, no, like, I, I know, I understand. Like, <coughs> no, I like, I'll show you why, why he says it. No, oh, I, I, I can go with this. It's like, it's one of the first movies that has... That, that's what I'm talking yeah. about, is like, I don't know how many movies had it and how good it was before and how, you know, after. So, I mean, technically speaking, he's right, because everyone that motion captured... But look, this is, this is the mocap that they were talking <laughs> it's about. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. He looks like a rat. Like, he looks like something like Little Wayne would wear at one of his <laughs> concerts. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do it like uh, what the fuck from Suicide Squad, <coughs> crocodile bastard. Yeah, all the balls. It, it wasn't just full makeup. Yeah, see, <laughs> but how do you do full makeup for like duckbill, racist stereotype of black people? <laughs> and George <laughs> Lucas is married to a. Black well, and I don't think it was supposed to be a racist stereotype of black no, people. It no. just so happened people to end up. People kind of read into it. Well, the guy That's was. What it became. Well, the guy was black, and he did have that high pitched voice from like, "Hey, man, what's up?" I mean, it's. Misa say, "No shoot." Oh. oh. Hands are up. Hands are up. <laughs> it sounds like fucking Elmo. <laughs> oh. Misa says. Elmo's black, voice black by a, Elmo from the street. Elmo says, Elmo's voice up, by bitch? a black guy also. <laughs> he was two and two together. I didn't know that. They're both he black. Yeah, he was. I didn't yeah. know that. He was, was. Yeah, he's a yeah. black dude. Yeah. All right. Well, that's something. <laughs> I can only imagine when he's like talking in normal voices, like, "Okay, all right, guys, are we done?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm at best who play. Yeah, yeah. It said motion capture, and then Solo, a Star Wars story. Director Ron Howard reportedly reshot nearly all the film when he boarded the project this summer, which means the budget now has doubled because of the reshoots. I'm surprised they can afford to do that. I just want it done like Arrested Development where it's Ron Howard narrating all of it and a blue family just somebody pops in and I want that out. to be like the documentary. I just want it done before Harrison Ford dies. 
It's the Han Solo. It's not prequel. It's young Han Solo. It's young Han Solo. Probably, oh, I mean, they might have him in it. So. Yeah, it might have him telling a story to Ben Kenobi. Yeah, like, Listen story. here, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I just... Actually, I want that to be the documentary of Ron Howard. Yeah. Just, like, and then Philip Lord and Chris Miller left, and they were never seen again. Hollywood. What a bitch. <laughs> Deadpool comic creator Rob Liefeld says Deadpool 2 will be Disney's Solo, a Star Wars film, when the two movies square off. Because they are being released on the same day. So, I mean, Deadpool will <coughs> probably trump over. Do you think well, so? I don't know. I do, just because the, I, the Han Solo story is just one character. I do it's have... not like the entire franchise, like the next movie will be. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, Han Solo. So it's like, it's interesting. It'll capture a lot of Star Wars fans, but like Deadpool is like, people who don't even like Deadpool, they're just like, I like raunchy comedy type shit. Okay. Are going to go to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Disney has an egregious um, restrictions when it comes to Disney movies. Um, there was an article, not that long ago on Facebook about it, and it's how um, that theaters have to have it in their biggest, on their biggest theater screen with their theater. For four weeks, and it's like 60% of the ticket sales uh, are the, the theaters? Was it Disney? I can't remember, but it's like, so if Disney's Deadpool, no, so if Han Solo comes out the same, no, Han Solo comes out the same week as Deadpool, Deadpool's gonna get that smaller screen. And then so you go to like a smaller um, a cinema chain, like say, like, you know, the one up in Milford has two screens, or like, wouldn't that, like a small chain has one screen, that's gonna suck. Because they cannot move. Um, that movie from that screen, otherwise you get penalized and they don't get profits in front of it. Yeah. So that's it's right. a major fuck you, I think, from Disney. So Wait, I don't know if Deadpool. Do also, Disney's sale ticket sales are weird too, because yeah. um, at the time of the release, like it, you, no one gets a press pass. Like you have to pay to go see it if you want to review it, even though you are part of the press. Disney has like you can't use like a free ticket or anything to go to the Star Wars movie. Like even any of the Marvel movies, like just because you have a press pass, you still have to pay in to go in. God, so I Dis fucking hate Disney. Disney's <laughs> Disney is a money machine. Not even for this necessarily, but just in general. But the th the one thing I do want to point out though is that the difference between Deadpool and Han Solo is Han Solo will be PG thirteen and Deadpool will be rated R. Mm -hmm. So the there is that. The, pos the fact that like people have children, they're like, I can take them to Star Wars, and they could <laughs> end up, it could end up being like Rogue One, and you're just like, I can take them to Star Wars, oh, I should oh, take them to Star damn. Wars. <laughs> like, but I mean, people probably still take their children to Deadpool too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even after the first one. Dude, I saw a five-year-old. <clears throat> like, I don't approve of that. Like, cool, you're taking your kid to a superhero movie, but god Damn, that's not the one you should take him to. <laughs> I, I have no like, room to Deadpool's talk because, like, my, like, like, my babysitter I, like, made me watch some fuck like, Logan like, was a more, like, it's a small gap, was more appropriate than Deadpool. As it wasn't as raunchy and. But, like, it's, it's like, that's a bad right. basis I mean, I to base it off. I see much. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I mean, I was playing, like, GTA when I was nine. I also not can't. Not that my mom yeah. let me, I just did it. I can't, I can't but, also say much because my. Babysitter let me watch Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back and South oh, Park yeah. bigger, better, and uncut when I was like ten. So I like I have um, it to me like, it, and then it's a rating system. It's 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 not as enforced. It's just frowned upon, and the people will tell you like you shouldn't do this, but they're like, fuck it, it's my kid, I can do it. <laughs> but like, as long as they go into it knowing what it is. Where it's not like the first one where people are like, I'm going to take my kid to it because I think it's a good, wholesome, family comic book movie. No, they're as dumb. They they, not... <laughs> as long as they know that it's Deadpool, I don't give a shit. But, but it's Deadpool. How do you, like, how do you not know that it's going to be a, it's going to be a fucking raunchy... Jay, I mean, I for that to... movie, not a, like, a lot of, like, the older people with kids, they probably didn't know. I'm going I'm to throw comic this Comic books were nerdy when they grew up. That's nah, but thing. here's why I'm going to throw huh. this out there is that the reason why I think people did this and did, took them to Deadpool is because Deadpool was actually in a lot of, like, was in the Disney XD comic yeah, he was with, uh, with, with, with Spider-Man. Spider Spider so, like, they could have seen that and was like, oh, he's just goofy and funny. But the first fucking trailer that came out was a Red Band trailer where he swore. So that obviously is proof that this is not a good movie. I and mean, they do <laughs> swear in some of the other ones. 
speech. Right. Not, it's just like that. The... It's just like that dumb bitch who wrote the Facebook post who tried to start a petition to make a PG-13 Deadpool, and then oh. one other lady. Yeah, fucking idiot. <laughs> petition. Yeah, and I don't... Like, Spend millions of dollars to make me a Deadpool. Make me a recut Deadpool it's that like, my children can watch. I'm like, there's no way you can recut no, you can't that movie. Just fucking jump cuts all yeah, the way. It's just him. The blades. Yeah, the blades. The blades swing, yeah. and it's like next scene. Blade swing, next scene. <laughs> Gunfire. Yeah. Done. done. But like, well, there was that other lady that was like, I knew it. I shouldn't have done it. Like I had to, I paid for a full price movie with me and my son and I had to take him five minutes out of Deadpool. Why can't they? And then one person's like, why can't they like make a warning about this movie before putting out? Well, someone's well, like, an R rated rated R. <laughs> do, they, do they not have the whole like fucking check the box promotion before all their movies that we have here? Stop Ninja. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. yeah. A long rumored reboot of The Crow will reportedly start production in February 2018. I don't think it, it needs a reboot. The I like The Crow. Well, what? The Crow's the fucking crow? awesome. Well, yeah, I don't say don't The like, Crow is. Okay, so Bruce Lee's kid, Jason Lee. Brandon. Br- Brandon. Yeah. Brandon. Jason Lee. Fuck. I Brandon should Lee. stop talking. Oh, yeah, Brandon yeah, Lee. No, like, that was yeah. his last film because he it's died. Killed. Yeah, killed on set. on set from an accident. It was a. It was a blank, and yeah. I hate when people say, like, oh, it's a blank, you're not going to kill yourself. No, you're going to get killed new, There's blank. been people who are like, oh, it's a blank, look at this, boom. You, you, Blood it's everywhere. Still it's still discharged. Still. Yeah. Yeah. discharged. They're still yeah. discharged. Like, it's not just like, bang, bang, bang. It's not like the guns we used to get as, like, kids. The the guns, yeah. pop, like, I think those could actually work a little bit better. But, like, that's we're not debating. No, but I think, I think, I don't know, it's like, if, as long as they do it well and not... Horribly. The, the, That's my thing. The only reason I think that movie got a cult following is because, like, in the movie, the person dies and comes back to life. It's kind of just, like, meta, because, like, Brandon Lee dies, and the movie's there. Meta Jesus. Meta Jesus. Oh. <laughs> it's like, that's You're like, meta because he comes back, and it's like, that's meta Jesus meta right Jesus. there. And, like, it, I like the movie a lot. I really, I hate all the direct-to-DVD, like, fucking... <laughs> fucking uh, sequels because there was one with David Boreanaz and Tara Reid what? and it was during the Day of the Dead and it was fucking dumb was David Boreanaz the, the bad guy? guy he was the oh, bad, bad guy, guy who gets the power of Satan mm. oh uh, what I have to ask is why did they make sequels because Money. cash grabs yeah. and they were direct to DVDs and people like there, there are still those guys from the 90s who are still down with the trench coats and might shoot up a school. It's like, oh, I love the crow, man. Uh-huh. It speaks to me. Let me buy these. <laughs> Why did they make numerous Robocops? Money. Those but are so bad they, that they're entertaining now. They at least those are just a general <laughs> question. Why do they make sequels? Money. No, I don't think that. Okay, Money. I feel like, I mean... Well, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I've never actually seen the first... I've never seen The Crow, but I'm pretty <coughs> sure it's a self-contained story that doesn't need a sequel. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> right, but okay, so in the actually in the comic books, well, I actually sat and listened to James O'Barr tell the story of how The Crow was made. It's the most fucking depressing story in the world. His girlfriend died of a car accident, and he became a heavy alcoholic and drug user and was on the verge of death. Oh, and, wow. like, the thing that saved his life was writing The Crow about a dude who comes back to life to gain retribution for his girlfriend. I'm like, God damn, dude. Except his girlfriend in the... Well, I'm going off the movie, actually. Was raped. <laughs> and murdered, murdered right, in front right. of him. And, and, and that's, the com- that's the comic. Like, that, that was just his, his way to, like, like, you know, cope with the fact that his girlfriend's dead. I'm like, Jesus, man. <laughs> that's dark. Golf! <laughs> But no, like, the, and then the Crow comic book later goes on is that the Crow is a spiritual entity, entity. it's it's basically the ghostwriter of the Image Comic Universe, <laughs> that it, uh, it's, it's a spirit of vengeance, it brings back people to life that have been wronged, like, rape, like, someone raped you, or murdered you, or anything like that, like, the ghostwriter doesn't do that, he just <laughs> dissolves their fucking soul. You know what <laughs> I mean, though, he's a spirit of vengeance, that's, that's the equivalent to, like, <laughs> Somebody <laughs> stole two dollars from my wallet. <laughs> yeah. and you I'm back. I'm back. I saw you Where steal are that you, you, you <laughs> son of a bitch? <laughs> Just steal two dollars from the bank account. All right, I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but like, and so that's why the sequels make sense. Uh, like each story is mm-hmm. a one coherent story. It's not. It, it's its own self-contained so, story with the crow being the spirit of vengeance. So the crow is an entity as opposed to a person. Right. Yeah. 
the crow is the symbol. The, I mean, the character is never called the crow ever in the comic books. The crow is just the 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 crow follows him or her. Or that's why you have like crow vision in the movie, like the crow swooping down and looking through the street. I yeah, I don't think Gil's seen it though. Yeah. Right? No, was I'm just on the book still. Hmm? I don't think so, but I have a copy somewhere. He said he hadn't seen it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's on Netflix. It was on Netflix. It was. I don't think it is anymore. <coughs> the shitty crow movies are. They're really good. Oh, I've already gorged myself on shitty Spawn, so no thank you. <laughs> Fuck Spawn. A new report says Just WB is <coughs> WB is playing the waiting game for future movies featuring the Justice League character, including Flashpoint. So what this makes what 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 bothers me about this is that you if you're doing it like that, you don't. Sh- say you're having these movies that are coming out with these titles. Yep. Don't make a title for the movie if you are playing the safe game. That's the thing that bothers me. Did, did they make titles? Of- yeah, they did. They they put The Flash and then Flashpoint. Oh, well, I mean, that is already a movie, though, so it's like it's not like they're making up the t- It's just like... No, yeah, no, 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 no. Don't, don't say that's going to be the title of your movie if you're playing the waiting game to see how Justice League works. Because they're thinking, like, if Justice League is bad, they're going to pull out of it. Well, yeah, and I, that that to me is bothersome. Don't give your movie don't give your movie a title, if you're not. You just like you just want him to say that we were thinking about more movies. Yeah, this is the Flash movie that's going to come out. Don't want to specify that yeah, it's like the Flashpoint spe- paradox. Yeah, because right, there I, were I, rumors I, that like Gal Gadot is going to take become be, well. Of course, she'd be Wonder Woman in the Flashpoint movie and things like that. So like that to me is just like they're not confident in any of thing they do. That's that's what I'm talking about here. <laughs> is that. They shouldn't be. <laughs> they shouldn't be. <laughs> Just we have the second Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman movie is going to be held back then. I think it's no. already in production. Mm, I think he's probably still. No. I think they're just talking about like further Justice. League. They're talking about further Justice League characters. Like the Wonder Woman movie is going to stay on track. I feel like the, the Flashpoint paradox would kind of be like DC's <coughs> reboot real quick to be like they're fucking up. <laughs> that, that too, but I feel like it'd be kind of a Captain America Civil War where it's like you know there's a lot of characters in here. But it's mostly supposed to be about Flash. <laughs> and that's mostly the thing. supposed to be about Captain America. Right. Well, to go go into why Wonder <clears throat> Woman two is still gonna be plowing on through. Wonder Woman is officially the highest grossing superhero origin movie, <laughs> passing <coughs> passing Spider Man. Sam, Sam Raimi's two thousand two Spider Man. Really? I still yeah. feel like yeah. Sam Raimi's Spider Man was better than. It's Wonder better, Wonder but Man. it like and they're going by inflation, by the way. Oh. Obviously, the money that you would make in a movie in 2002 is different than the money you make oh, yeah. in 2017. They're going by the inflation numbers. Is that inflation number-wise, Wonder Woman still made more money than Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. So that's the reason why... Black Panther. Yeah, Black <laughs> Panther. But that's the reason why... I'll buy all the tickets. What, that, that, to answer your question, they're not going to halt any production of Wonder Woman 2 because of Justice League, because that is his most successful movie. Yeah, because they finally <laughs> fucking hit something. Yeah. They Let's put like, air quotes on we, hit something. No, but they were like, fuck, we had a movie that actually made money. They're like, good money. They're like, yes. It's not being panned by critics. Play up. At least harsh. Wonder movie. Woman 9. Get them all out <laughs> oh, there. I've heard our review. That bitch is going to have an <laughs> I odyssey. I really liked Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer an Elliot, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking. I, I like I, I said you. like I the middle so part was the only thing that got me and when our friend Lindsay Matheson brought up girls were like her thighs jiggle she's a real woman gives a shit <laughs> that bothered the fuck out of me yeah apparently bothers bothers people are like yeah the only way your thighs shouldn't jiggle is if your fucking skin is so tight that it's literally up against right. the muscle and then like and, and then, even like, then it should probably and then probably like move well some people way. were like. The Amazonians are so, like, natural-looking with no makeup. I'm like, bitch, that's their makeup. What? Yeah. <laughs> they look so homely compared to, like, what other goddesses would look like. I feel like I'd get fucked up if I even set foot in there. Right, you'd probably get your ass kicked. <laughs> There'd probably be an arrow, just like... <laughs> and new reports suggest that Mark Strong, who was previously Sinestro in DC's Green Lantern that I'm was supposed sorry. to... We don't talk about that. No, I, I really <laughs> like Green Lantern. Like, it's a it's a really bad movie. Sorry. The no, guy no, who directed no. Thor actually played one of the main characters in that movie. Uh, fuck, what's his name? It's, uh... Taiko Waititi. Yeah. Ah, dude, he... he what? <laughs> yeah, he, it's an Australian name. He's gonna make an industry in, uh, in, in the TV news, I'll tell. 
there's something about in the shadows on, on TV news. Yeah, but like he he's he's in talks to playing the upcoming villain in Shazam. Where I stand on this is that like I like Mark Strong. What? Shazam. I like Shazam. You're warning all the news in here that you can't. About. <laughs> I have one of Shazam news. Put it in there. Yeah, it's well, in yeah. all. It's in bold and caps. Just Shazam. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an entire fucking page of just Shazam. Yeah. I still prefer the new Captain name Marvel. of the podcast. The Shazam. The Shazam. No, but like what this is to me is like it's weird because Mark Strong. His latest roles have not been villains. No, and, they like, he was been. very famous for playing villains in 2010. He was the fucking Sinestro. He, he was, was in uh, Sherlock, Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was villains all around in everything he was in. Which, was he the evil guy in the second Sherlock Holmes? First no, one. The first one. He had the bad teeth. Oh, okay. Because he's British. Yeah. And he has, <laughs> because he has bad teeth or because he's British? Yes. 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 So Christian Bale is apparently playing Dick Cheney in Adam Kay's new movie, Backseat. And this is the first picture of Christian Bale as Dick Cheney. And what Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... I can agree. That's, that's Dick Cheney. That's <laughs> what the fuck? That's, yeah. He gained, he gained a record 80 pounds of fat to you play. Imagine if that's your job. Well, Christian Bale like, gains and loses a fuck ton of weight for his the... roles. It is so, like... Dude, that Christian shit is Bale so... Is Batman? Yeah. Yeah, that's our bat. That's that's gravelly voice, Batman. Yeah. Right? Yep. Batman. He better have a gravelly voice for this too. I'm Dick Cheney. I didn't shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> Dick Cheney over Batman. <laughs> so straight up for me, like the way I see this is that like Dick Cheney. The, the, like, like it is just like how I feel about Jared Leto and like the whole Heath Ledger thing. There is acting. I get method acting, but Jesus Christ, motherfuckers. Like, when Jared Leto lost, like, 60 pounds to be a skinny AIDS-induced uh, transvestite in <laughs> Dallas Buyers Club, and, like, when Christian Bale massively lost weight... The mechanist. The ma- machi- yeah. The bad machinist. Machinist to be a meth head and gained 100 pounds back to be Batman. Tom Hardy even stated, yeah, I'm not doing that shit anymore. That shit fucks me up. Like, this is not good for you. Like, this is, like... At least... Like, because Jared Leto, he does a lot of crazy shit. I mean, at least this is only affecting themselves. Weight loss and gain. I think right. Bale has to bulk up for the price you pay man. for a fuckload of money to act. I guess. Because I just think that's just a fuck. I actually, up, don't like, think they get a fuckload of money. You mean to make your body go through all that? Yeah, I, I don't get that. Role? Yeah. I mean, they don't need to. They could just be like, "Fuck it, I don't want the role. <laughs> I'll go back to waiting tables." Right. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. And we're going to go into the, to some Thor, Rag, or some, not Thor, Marvel news. <laughs> After a long wait and conflicting reports, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Captain Marvel finally gets a confirmed date to start filming in February 2018. It's going to be better and, than Shazam. It's going to be better than Shazam. The real Captain Marvel. The real Captain Marvel. <laughs> um, who is the general, evil general in uh, Rogue One? That uh, isn't... Matt, uh, no, that's not Matt. That's, um... Who dies? It's, uh... Maybe. He is Krennic, but, um... Played by uh, that, that's Australian dude. Yeah, he's gonna be in Captain Marvel as the villain. I'll think of it later, probably. Yeah. See, that's the other one. I can't remember. I can't even pronounce his name. It's like, <laughs> it's something Australian. It's like Taiwi Wachi for just like that guy. And then Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> it sounds Japanese yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thor Ragnarok actually came out in England, Japan, and South Korea. <coughs> before I came out in America two weeks early because my friend is stationed in South Korea and got to see it before and I was like, fuck you, David. Wow. What, China? You should have just gotten no, a movie we got. They, they, they oh. always get it later. Fuck yeah. I was, I was just asking because it's already in like Homemade Korea. Korea and Japan. Right. Like, fuck China. Fuck you. <laughs> right. okay. But it, it, it opened up I'm overseas joking. with $100 million, pacing it ahead of several other Marvel Cinematic Universe films promising big things when it arrives in the U.S. Goddamn. So that 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 speaks numbers. Stupid <clears throat> ass comedy, I'm guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> we rock Thor. I'll God of Thunder. Tomorrow. Herc is amazing. God of Thunder. God of Thunder. Thundercats. Um. So, um, Thor Ragnarok is the oh. first of three movies in a Hulk <laughs> in the arc of the Hulk. So Hulk is going to appear in two other non Avengers related movies as a side character. Which sucks. Before or after Infinity Wars? It's probably after Infinity Wars. 
Because the way the way that it's coming up and the way Thor ended it led up to Right. And Hulk was over there with him. Yeah. That's right. Cool. My thing is I think Hulk is gonna end up in Guardians because the next news story is and before I ask, why why do you think that's bad? Like I think that's fine because Well, like, I, I, think, I I wish I don't know, I think like if it's, a, it's I think it's just with, license, with licenses. I think it's just yeah, bad. That's why I think. I don't want to say I'm, I'm happy, but I just still think you know. Because Universal stupid. technically owns the rights to Hulk, so that's why he can't have his own solo mm-hmm. movie. So I think, like the way I saw Thor Ragnarok, I liked it because like Hulk was still a main character, but it was still a Thor movie. Yeah. But Hulk stole did, did a really good, <coughs> good supporting support role. role. So I think that like I think Hulk makes a good supporting character. I really did like the Edward Norton movie. But I'm yeah, never was, gonna get that well, again. I, yeah, I I think that it's good that he doesn't have his own movie, because I I don't think a like a Hulk only movie would work for the same reason I don't think Superman ever works. It's just like World War he's Hulk too man. powerful. That would have right. been fucking but amazing. Like, World War Hulk could have been really good, but it's not really an origin film. Yeah, well, it doesn't need to be an origin film for Hulk. Okay, I mean, yeah. Technically, it wasn't. I thought, I, mean, part we were, of the I thought that's what I thought that's what we were talking about. <laughs> right. Yes, it but was. then he got recast because he was a dick. But well, yeah. But my thing about, just to bring up that Edward Norton film, is that it was more of a Bruce Banner movie than it was a Hulk movie. Yes. And I think that's the reason why they want it to be more of a Hulk movie than a Bruce Banner movie. Which is fine, because I mean, the first two Avengers were more Bruce Banner-esque than Hulk. I was going to say, that's good and bad, because it's just like Iron, like the original Iron Man. It was more of a Tony Stark movie than an Iron Man movie. Right. I find that shot. boring. He really doesn't do all that much. He just right. shot fighting. tank whistles every once in a while. Right. And just to... Quote, quote, quote Thor. You know, like, I do all the, like, science stuff. That's good. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like, I get I get where they're coming. I, I do. Like, I'm useful. Are you really, though? Are you really? How many PhDs? How many does Hulk have? Zero. Zero PhDs. Use one of your PhDs to fly the ship. Oh, that's not really bad, man. He hasn't seen it. I'm oh, sorry. Shit. Sorry, Jay. We ruined we'll the jokes for Jay. Let's tell them all. Oh the God! No, 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 no! You'll be able to predict them. I'm a fucking pencil, bitch. They're no, so screwed. predictable. You'll be fine. But no, like my thing Dual about wielding shit. my thing about that rusty spoon and pencil, great combo. <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, my my thing about, like I said, like I think I think it makes a lot more sense to have them because the next story that I bring up, Mark Forkolo discusses that they're pairing on Thor Ragnarok and reveals the Hulk's unlikely friendship in Marvel's Infinity Wars with Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, I heard about that. So I that. I'm assuming Hulk's gonna end up in Guardians. 3, probably. Yeah. Which will be fine with me, because that would be dope as shit, because, like, <laughs> Hulk and Groot having a conversation. I am, I am Groot. I am or angry Groot. <laughs> like, I think that'd be funny. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> Tycho, I fucking hate his name. Tycho Waititi says that he returns, if he returns to direct another <laughs> form film, it's because the movie would be more Ragnarok 2 than Thor 4. Which again means it would be more of a comedy than it would be. I just a, seriously though with that name. So I call what he did. He's Australian, <laughs> and he oh, played a, he, he played in, he played an Alaskan guy in fucking Green Lantern. Still Taiko Waititi's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus God fucking it. Christ! Right. Oh man, I but hope like, that guy is listening. He's like, fuck, I'm gonna use that now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, gonna make it a one liner in every one of his movies now. I think, but like for me, like I think that's an awesome thing to have. Like I think, I think that TDs? no, that, that's you. <laughs> like if they're on like a girl, but like I think that Thor is. Meh, I think Thor is it. I think, like I said, Thor three really revitalized the Thor series for me, and I want to see where it goes because I find find the possibility of. Too bad he's gonna die in Infinity War. Shut the fuck up, Zach. <laughs> no, it's gonna Iron be Iron Man. Man. Iron gonna fucking die. And think. Captain America. Oh, oh, well, jokes on all you guys. Robert Downey Jr. first returned to Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, and Anthony and Joe upcoming 2019 Avengers 4. So he doesn't die in Avengers 3. So he dies in the or sequel. Then do they bring him back? Mmm. Or do Jay? What about it's uh, it's the Hawkeye. Crow? What about the guy who plays Hawkeye? Is he gonna die? No, he's Ronan now. Yeah. He Hawkeye took over his persona. Dead. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. But Hawkeye could die. Hawkeye's <laughs> dead, but Ronan isn't. Hawkeye Clint Barton's has... alive, but Hawkeye's identity is dead. Hawkeye has returned home to Florida. When the fuck did that happen? When did I miss that? Uh, it's make it's for kids. Avengers 4. Oh, okay. They were yeah. okay. Also, coming back to Avengers Stop. 4 Stop. is Chris Evans... Woo. Is back for <laughs> Avengers 4. Woo. So, again, God everyone... God damn it. All y'all are going to see cool. Captain America. Yeah. He's not, he's not Captain America anymore. What's, he's what's, Nomad. Yeah, that's he's what he Nomad. is. He's Nomad. 
And also, Tom Hiddleston is back for on the set of Avengers Four. He's Turns out that. he's not. I, he was actually using his illusions to make. Who's Tom? Tony Stark. Loki <laughs> is back like for him. Avengers Four. <laughs> I mean, I figured he would be though, since <coughs> the way that Ragnarok ended. Right. Well, where but he's the, also just on the ship with Thor. I think, but I think that's like an interesting thing to have though, because now you have that dynamic is that Loki is back. <laughs> so, out ears. um, to the to the idea of you know what happened in Thor Ragnarok to the idea of like how did he end up in four but he's not in three. He's not gonna be in Infinity War. He has a brief cameo appearance. Oh. I mean, yeah, he could just leave on important. Right. He's just going to give the test I mean, to it'll, it'll, and that's it. No, it, it'll probably just be like, Thor will be like, all right, Loki, you lead the people, and I'm going to go fuck up Thanos. Or and then he, it's like, oh, he's trusting me with the responsibility of being king. I'll go do that. See? <laughs> fucking predictable. <laughs> or he gives he, the test to Thanos, me. and that's it. China was the last hope for Blade Runner 2049 to avo- avoid being a global box office flop. But the sequel could not catch on, only making $2 million in China. That's really disappointing. Didn't it was a good really movie. Like Blade Runner 2049? I John really liked it. John and yeah, John and Jaden. I've heard I, really good things. I it, it was a good movie, but like I said, um, the only thing I don't like is that for what was it, 30 years? Blade Runner came out in like 80s. In the 80s. <coughs> yeah. For 30 years, Blade Runner uh, had this philosophical debate of whether or not a certain character was a cyborg or not, because it made this phil- philosophical thought of can robots think, can robots not, you know what I mean? So they kind of ruined that, but didn't, because it's vaguely put on the idea that that person's a robot at the second movie. But the best thing that came out for me for Blade Runner 2049 is the Blade Runner 2049, the movie where Ryan Gosling has a cyborg real boo. <laughs> Also, to sell you on Blade Runner 2049, Jared Leto's in it for all, mm. like, ten minutes. Does he have shiny teeth? I don't think so. Well, then I can probably I think watch he looks it normal. Fine. No, he doesn't! He of, has augmented eyes! Of all the things that, like, I hated about his Joker, it was the shiny teeth that got me the most. You mean his grill. His shiny teeth and his... Made, made me want to fucking punch him in the teeth. I don't... I like, steal them, because they're probably worth more than mine, so... He's so intense. I will fucking murder you. <laughs> My Chris, shiny teeth and me. Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. I will fucking kill both Holy of you. Holy shit. Vicky, Vicky, you're so... Just the thought of been around you. Oh, know, so you so don't want to say shiny teeth, but you'll say yeah, that Yeah, Icky Vicky is a fucking classic. <laughs> <laughs> so so shiny teeth. I don't know what Skip Tyler. I don't Skip know what Tyler. any of you are singing. Fairly obvious. Have you ever watched Chip Fairly Skylark. Odd. Fuck oh, you, Skip fuck. Tyler. Do you like what that is? Yeah. yeah. He said it was a classic. I thought it was a real song. No, <laughs> it was a real song. It's got a CD and everything. Shiny T, shiny T. Christoph Waltz reveals he won't be back to play Blofeld in the next James Bond film, hinting instead the role will be recast. What? Christoph James Waltz is a Bond wonderful actor. James die. Bond needs to die. I agree. Do you guys... Okay, I know you don't like James... Why don't you like James Bond, Zach? It's boring. He gets it. Like, I'm, I honestly just can't... Get into it. Like, every and time, I'm do, just like, oh, it's more of a chore to sit through. I do like James Bond. Like, the original, like, slapping bitches and killing people. <laughs> Holy James shit. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so, the OG James Bond. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Mike Peter. <laughs> the date rapist? Apparently so. Yeah. <coughs> oh, man. Those, those are my. Eli's those are my endorsements. Jams. Those are the ones I like. Sean <laughs> Connery. Sean Connery. Yeah. James Franco. Lay tits oh, now. On my face, drop back. <laughs> James Franco humorously reveals that the room creator Tommy Wiseau initially wanted Johnny Depp to play him in the Disaster Artist. Oh, it's <laughs> been a true disaster. I'm just not for that. <laughs> I just work though. <laughs> I don't like Johnny Depp. Everyone's heard <laughs> my conversation of why I don't like Johnny Depp. It would have been the new room. I well, think he plays weird roles. Really, Johnny hard. Depp played has played the, almost the same character in every movie yeah, since Jack Sparrow. Just, just Johnny bothers the joking. fucking shit out of me. Do you get bothered by Gerard Butler playing Gerard Butler? Yeah, I do. I fucking hate Gerard <laughs> Butler. It's just like, okay, you're an Egyptian god. He's like, how about I put on my heavy Scottish accent? <laughs> you're an American. Don't watch <laughs> Geostorm. Geostorm. That's a horrible dumpster fire you should not watch. I wasn't planning I mean, so. is it. Okay, Geostorm. can you spoil it? Is it Was it an eco-terrorist that took control of it, or did the AI no. just go crazy? No, it was, some, it was somebody wanted to restart the world, basically. 
So by doing that, you destroy certain per portions of the world you don't like. It's How do you restart the world? Do you remember uh, the first trailer, though? It was actually an artificial intelligence going crazy. And then they d did so many reshoots. No, like I did not. $200 million worth of reshoots, and they changed it to that there's an evil person trying to destroy the world. It was Jesus really Christ. fucking bad. Yeah, there was a shit ton of reshoots for G.S. Term. Wow. It's uh, been a movie for three years in production. No wonder it's shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I just... Uh, I'm just saying, like, I... I Maybe don't know. the new Joker. I don't... <laughs> See, I did like I liked Fantastic Beasts up until they revealed Johnny Drunk Depp's Joker. He's yeah. just staggering around. Yeah. Beat Johnny Depp's Joker. Where's my dirt? <laughs> Batman. Where's my dirt? <coughs> I've got a giant dirt. Why is there yeah. always gone? It falls over. It's, it's actually it's, it's actually Jason Todd Dashes. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that got that that that, that, that. wow. God damn. Whoa. It's like Batman's only weakness. Oh, my failures. Oh. And then he sits down his parents' ashes right next to him. Oh. Martha! <laughs> How do you like me now? And then he, they throw Martha's ashes in the Lazarus pit, and that's his <laughs> origin story of the League of Marthas. We got this. We got this. We'll write this down. and Screenplay. Like, DC. Hurry up. We have something for you. Jay, write it down. Okay, yeah, League Jay, of Marthas. Yep, I'm totally writing it down. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I mean, Jay, you're the most, like, skinny, nerd-looking Asian we've got, so they'll believe it from you. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I mean, if I start working out, I can probably do it. Thor Ragnarok Strike. God damn it! What? Taika Waititi <laughs> <laughs> said, because he, he, he's in talks to adapt the Akira, the Akira, <coughs> mo Akira oh, into no. a live-action movie. Like he wants to know, but he wants to adapt the manga instead of the anime, which I would be totally down for, for the manga has some, a lot of in-depth... Dark ass shit. Wait, for what? For what? Akira. Akira. Oh. You saw Akira, right? I've seen the movie, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think, like, as long as he's not making it into a gag joke. <laughs> yeah. Like, as long as he's not making it funny, I think it could work. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it could do serious well enough. Marvel, several Marvel. Oh, I'll actually Hold wait on. for the article. What was that name again? Taiko Waititi. Laiko Waititi's. Lawrence Fishburne has oh, announced he's working. Yes. Hello. What TT? Wong. God. Lawrence Fishburne has announced a secret project with Marvel on top of his starring in Ant Man and the Wasp. Crossover He's, with the Matrix. No, I was going to say crossover with DC Extended Universe. Perry White joins the Marvel Universe. Oh. It's like, oh, shit. fuck all y'all. I didn't think of that. Who's Perry White again? Mostly because I He's the. Uh, one moment before you go on the. He's the. Um, the he's the. He's the black dude. Remember in Superman and uh, the Man of Holy Steel? Holy shit, you're right, yeah. Yeah, he's like, Kent, I need more pictures of Superman. Yeah. Spider-Man. Superman. <laughs> Turns out he's also playing J. Jones no, Jameson. He's playing he's playing J. 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 Jones Jameson. He's in the DC Universe. I would really, like I said, I know y'all have always shot down the idea of Ice Cube playing J. Jonah Jameson. <coughs> oh my god, that'd be so funny. Hey, hey. Give me some goddamn Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> got time for your problems. He's busy oh. doing web shit. God damn it. <laughs> Don't talk about black Spider-Man. We talk about white one. <laughs> uh. I, feel like, I feel like every scene with him would just end up with him like with an AK shooting someone. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'll show you how to shoot something right. Bap, bap. Sir, you mean the camera. Nah, 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 nah. Just fucking <laughs> shoot Spider-Man. Quantum Leap creator Donald Bellisaro reveals that he has finished a script that would bring the cult series to the big screen. He wants to make a Quantum Leap movie. What is Quantum you, Leap? Have you never watched it? Uh, uh, Scott, Scott Bakula. Bakula. It, explain Quantum Leap because I'm not really good at explaining. I'm not the best at explaining it either. Um, it's basically, he got lost in time. Like Samurai Jack. So he's trying to get back. That's not okay. Quantum, okay, okay. Quantum Leap is basically a dude learns a lesson every time he jumps because he's in another person's body. <coughs> but he doesn't go back to his own. He, he could. He can't go back to. He's not. At the end, he gets back into his own body. But like, throughout, he's traveling through time, not as himself, but he travels in other people's bodies. And so he has to like figure out their problems before. He's he, a ghost. Before he can make his leap back home. <laughs> That's why it's called Quantum Leap. He's the crow. <laughs> Avenging people's two dollars. <laughs> uh -huh. 
So, Henry Cavill feels the DC Extended Universe has made the right mistake, saying Wonder Woman was a fantastic for the future of the cinematic universe. <coughs> Wait, what? Henry Cavill admitted that both Batman vs. Superman and Man of Steel weren't the best of movies, and Suicide Squad, but I don't think he brought up Suicide Squad. He's like, Wonder Woman is definitely <laughs> bringing... talk about that one. What? I like it. I, I don't think it's terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. fun. Yeah. Like, I think it's fun, but, like, it's not, like, yeah, well, awesome. <laughs> I don't think it deserved an Oscar like for best Will- makeup. No, it did not. I like the DC comic Will Smith story. Like, yeah, that's pretty much what that movie is. The, yeah, the Margot Will Rabbie Smith Will Smith movie. Yeah, Deadshot and Harley Quinn. Be yeah, Suicide Squad. Future Suicide Plus Squad. Seven. But he's like, Wonder Woman was a great jump to what we should be doing. I'm like, eh, I mean, comparatively, yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, but it's yeah. like again, it's just like. It's like, do I want to eat dog shit or do I want to chew on glass? Well, dog shit doesn't <laughs> cut my mouth up as bad. That, that's how I feel about him saying, like, yeah, we're doing better now. <coughs> I mean, yeah. Because I still, that Justice League trailer we saw in Thor, like, I just don't have any liking for that Is movie. it the one of the, the newest one that just came out? Of the yeah, the, the uh, ring one, like, you like the ring? Is that a yes? The second I saw Wonder Woman smile at Batman, and I was like, well, here come the shippers. They do. End up together though. Oh, yeah. There's there's continuities where Batman and Wonder Woman end up together. How about that? <coughs> my favorite. Is yeah. I should have known like, that. Not honestly. My favorite, favorite is still Justice League. Yeah. Uh, the cartoon. I have, but I have very minimal uh, yeah, they, memories of it. Yeah, they hook up in that. Brown, brown chicken, brown cat. Like he also fucks Zatanna, but you know. No, my well, my thoughts on that is just brown. like. It's like Batman grew a beard to show he's wiser and more experienced. <laughs> he's more relatable. More relatable. Yeah. Okay, so uh, like, okay. Batman can have a beard. And it's like the Flash is young and experienced. Superman grew a beard. Super naive. Because he's relatable. Be Superman, didn't he? It's like I uh, no. not really. Well, he went to go find. He him. was. It was a Man of Steel. What? He had a beard in Man of Steel because he, he went to hide in the woods. Well, didn't he grow one again in Batman no. and Superman when he was climbing that, that mean, like, ice? Like, if no, he shaved, you could, like, sure. weave, like, a vest of his oh, yeah. that's like, what weird like, hairs and just be like, impenetrable that, to anyone that's, but him. That's the much. one thing in my biggest complaint on the Superman thing. it breaks his thing. skin. Yeah, like, for me, it's like, your hair is easily cuttable with a chic razor, but, like, past that, you are apparently made of diamonds that fuck up everything else. <laughs> How easy it'd be for him to shave them. Right, like just press that shit into his face. Yeah. Get every like, I'm pretty hair. positive. Like I kind of picture him like kind of doing what Luke Cage had to do. Is just like claw his face to get the beard off. <laughs> just yes. Yeah, that I suppose he could just rip it out. Yeah. <clears throat> Adam Stizekel is negotiating to uh, pen Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam solo film for the DC Entertainment. Um, I actually, do you know what Adam Ezekiel uh, has written? No. <coughs> it sounds he, familiar. Let's see. We have him on his Wikipedia page. That's a fucking page. last name right there. Yeah. God he, damn. he has written Due Date, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul, oh Alvin and the Chipmunks Road Chip. The, the due date was decent. Yeah. Oh, shit. Like, the first one was We're good. the Millers, too. Yeah, and he's apparently oh, petting where the Millers oh, do. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Black Adam's going to be a comedy. Got it. Yeah. Paramount has tapped Kevin Kolosh and... <laughs> to be fair, I mean, it does have the rock in it, and I can't see him in anything but a comedy now. Yeah, I he's so, been in so many. See, you know what makes me sad about the Black Adam movie? Is that John Cena isn't Shazam, and that would have been the greatest <laughs> pairing in the world. Just watch WrestleMania 28. I know, just watch again. WrestleMania 20, 20, 28, 29, but, like, that'd be funny. Get, get out of here. And then... Get, take the wrestling talk. Get the fuck out of here. That's a different, <laughs> different yeah. podcast. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't done that since since the incident. I gotta get back into that. Paramount has tapped Kevin Colchis and Dennis Widemeyer to direct the latest Stephen King big screen remake of Pet Cemetery. I'm okay with this. Thank you. Um, <laughs> really, you don't like? Do you just not like Pet Cemetery, or do you just I, just I like? Never the, even seen it. I just know the concept. No, thank you. What, what's the concept? It's not too bad. Pet cemetery. It's a cemetery where you bury life. things and they come back to yeah, life. They come back to Didn't life. Didn't we talk about this yesterday? No. Yeah. I fucking didn't. I no. I remember us talking about no, something I, where they bury people and they come back to life. Or is that a different movie? Probably a different movie. We can't talk about, about a lot of movies. I mean, there were zombies in Thor, so I mean, <coughs> probably we're, we might have been talking about coming back to life. I don't know about 
burying them in the fucking pet cemetery. Well, not in the pet cemetery, but that's what hell them, has to do with every you, corpse. You take them, them to the pet cemetery, and then they come back to life. That's why you don't bury those objects there because they come back. That's to how life. she gets the wolf back. What? Buries it in the pet Mother cemetery. Motherfucker! <laughs> comes back. Spoiler! No, that's not really what happened. Oh, Jay, that's not a spoiler. That's a joke. Yeah. The wolf was in the fucking trailers. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but, uh, fuck, what was it? Um, oh, we're gonna go into, um, have you guys heard of the Tyrese Gibson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson feud going on? What? So what? Tyrese Gibson was, like, straight up putting Dwayne The Rock Johnson on blast about, um, <clears throat> being like, if you guys make this, like, uh, spin-off of Fast and Furious, I'm not gonna be in Fast 9, fuck this movie. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not going to come back if Dwayne The Rock Johnson comes back. He, like, made videos of him freaking out about it. Um, actually, we're just going to go watch this funny video. Is he in other movies? Anyways. Yeah, no, not really. I've never seen him in any other movies. Not even The Rock could make me watch Fast and Furious. I've seen a couple. Of <clears throat> I feel like TMZ. <laughs> just the way you were like, put him on blast. Getting all the new hip terms. <laughs> Black, put him on blast has been around for a while Kian, now. Kian's really woke, you know. Now, I think you're the guy, but I will with you to see. Welcome to Chronicles TV. I'm restraining order because Tyrese is getting on my nerves. I don't care. When you're moving along in your role. All right, so Ty, basically he's freaking out, and then he blames it on him losing his uh, his his daughter to the cyst, like, his wife has full custody of his daughter. The Rock's fault? Yeah, that's, I mean, like, that's <laughs> when it's the Rock's attorney. Yeah, it's like, daddy's home. home. No, the, he's, he's blaming, like, his meltdown on The Rock on that as a situation. That's a horrible defense. I'm right! Yeah. Shitty! <laughs> like, that's a bitch move. Right. Bitch Stewie. <laughs> like that's that that that's what we were that's the thing we were talking about. So, Zach, I know you just recently watched The Lion King. Oh God! Are we gonna... Wait, wait, for the first time ever. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? I'm sorry, I My never face. had an interest in watching The Lion King. Thank you, Eli, for being the only one. I, uh, who the first time I ever watched it all the way through was my senior year, so it was like two years ago now. What the? And fuck? that was because my math teacher made a <coughs> reference that I sort of got. But not at first, and then she was like, have you ever seen it? And I was like, I've seen, like, half of it in bits and pieces, not, like, a solid half, like, just, like, here and there. And then she was like, all right, we're taking a day to just watch The Lion King, and then we watch movies for, like, two weeks. All right, so we have the full <laughs> cast of The Lion King. Donald Glover will be playing Simba. Simba. Oh, J.D. McCrary is young Simba. Beyonce is Nala. But who cares? Who's I do. She slays, man. Like, who's Nala? She's what the female part? lion. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. No, no, I've seen it once. Right? Shaihada Wright will play Mine's young Nala. Oh. James Earl Jones is actually returning to voice Mufasa. Boy. Chiwetel Ejiofor, who Still was... Alive? Yeah. <laughs> Chiwetel Ejiofor, who was Baron Mordo in uh, Doctor Strange, is voicing Scar. <laughs> I just, no, I just thought James Earl Jones. Just... Alfred Woodward is... Alfred Woodward is Saraba, who is the... <laughs> Yeah, yep. I'm getting yeah. to that, damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that I did John Oliver, who is uh, Simba's mom, John Oliver is Zazu, which makes me super happy because I think great. that's like a great thing. John, John Connie as Rafiki, and I don't know who John Connie is because the, voice, the original voice of Rafiki just died. Oh, he's oh. that dude. <laughs> so, he's black. Seth Rogen will be Pumbaa. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Billy that. Eichner will be Timon, which makes me really mad because so, I really hate what? him. Billy Eichner. You don't like Billy Eichner? No, he's fucking annoying, and yeah, like I feel like that's not like <clears throat> I feel maybe maybe not Billy Eichner. Like I would have had Michael Sarah be to mom. Like, oh guys, how's it going? You want these gloves? <laughs> but Hakuna Matata. that's not the type of character that Timon is. Yeah, I know. Eric Andre. <laughs> yes. We'll play Azizi, which is one of the it was is the like fucking like douchey like. Hey guys, how's it going? Played originally played by Cheech Marion. He's one of the hyenas. Oh god. Um, another one of the hyenas is Florence Kusambi, Kusumamba, who who is in Black Panther. And Keegan Michael P will also be in this movie as another hyena. I thought you were Keegan Michael P. Yeah, Keegan Michael Key. Oh, 
Okay, I was gonna say. Keegan Michael Key, fuck all y'all. What's he gonna pee on? <laughs> mm, run away. He's gonna whatever. pee on Simba. Whatever, man. So, we're. we're, we're Stephen King's movie. Yeah. <laughs> Throw some child orgies in there. And yeah. so God, just, please no. Wrap it up. So, we're gonna, no. we're gonna go into Marvel's new Warriors TV series, Seeking a New Home, due to the Freeform being wow. unable to find room for the show in 2018 programming slate. The New Warriors is the one that had Squirrel Girl. It was the Squirrel Girl TV show. Oh, no, I'm thinking of, uh, what's the one that's coming out soon? The Runaways. Yeah. That looks interesting. Looks shitty. Really? You know Wait, what is that the really one bad? where the kid's in the, like, shower room and then he, like, yeah. makes it go yeah. to shit? Okay. You know what else looks really bad? New Mutants. <laughs> kid's gonna fuck you yeah. up. Yeah. Why do y'all hate the new mutants? Thank you. I just think it looks interesting. I think Good it's a idea. nice choice. I think it's an idea that's... Like supposed to draw people in, like you, where it's just like, oh, it looks interesting. It could be, it could be really good. And it's like, no, nah, it's just gonna flop. And then you they realize, make like, 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 I feel like some up. someone pitched it. And they're like, all right, so what if we do a horror movie with but mutants? Don't, don't actually, it's just gonna be terrible, but it'll draw people in. New job. Sure. Make me sound like I'm a fucking turtle. Like, oh, that's very good. Do you? Do you a turtle. Yeah, that's how I picture fucking like a pack animals. They always travel together. Uh, <laughs> could have used the lemmings. Could have used sheep. <laughs> what, with turtle. God damn. You make me sound like a turtle. <laughs> Like Make me sound also, like a turtle. I've, I've never heard any turtle in any like cartoon or animation. Have you not heard? They're it? always old people. Yeah. Did, you ever, did you ever watch The Master of the Skies? Why not two turtles? Oh my god, for the yes. turtle call? Turtle, turtle, turtle. That's like not turtle enough for, for the, the turtle call. Turtle like Kermit the Frog. The frog. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not easy being green. It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can you sing Johnny Depp's heart real quick? You mean Johnny Cash's hurt? Johnny Cash's hurt with Kermit and Chills. I hurt myself today. Just say that. I hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Someone get this man a fucking uh, roll. That's, that's pretty good, yeah. That is really good. Can Perfect we, can, Kermit the Frog. Can, can we get a new Kermit? Ray yeah. Romano. You can do them all. <laughs> <laughs> I think, Gil, can we start doing Kermit music covers and just pick <laughs> different popular songs for you to sing? Snippets. Is it yeah. fireworks? Yeah. Yeah. Can, you know right. Joe? can we do anime openings? No. Sing fireworks open for us in years. Baby, you're a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, I think it would be hard to sing in the voice, but that's just... Okay. Wrong. Bad Boys 2 TV spinoff starring Gabrielle Union moves forward in NBC and will move her character from Miami to Los Angeles. I find this really bad because Bad Boy 2 says motherfucker a lot. <laughs> yeah, they Going do. on to NBC as a TV show, I'm like, I don't show. know if that's a good thing. It could be Mother Trucker or Frack as they yeah. get more in space. I'm sick of all these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. <laughs> HBO announces it will star will air Game of Thrones star Kit Harrington's gunpowder miniseries exclusively in the United States this December. That's the Guy Fox doc uh, biopic show. I was thinking about westerns, but that works too. Gunpowder was a good one, yeah. The Walking Dead continues to trend on in the wrong direction rating wise, sinking to its lowest number since the finale of season two. Good. You want it to end? I do. It, uh, I hate zombie. Like, well, in general. this is also <laughs> another article. The Walking Dead plans to run, says it could run for decades. No. Gig. No. Don't do that. <laughs> Why are you guys against this? It's just a awful. You'll eventually <coughs> have Game to of end. Game of Thrones to run for decades, not The Walking Dead. <laughs> Shows that go on for too long lose the charm that they have. Just like right. friends. Look at MASH. MASH had a great run. Netflix and production company MRC indefinitely suspended production of House of Cards in light of Kevin Spacey's allegations. When I wrote this, I did not uh, did not have anything, but no more recent news. They are dropping Kevin Kevin Spacey's new movie biopic bi- biopic of Gore Fadal. <coughs> yeah, Gore Fadal. So, did you not hear what happened? All right, so Kevin Spacey. Mm-hmm. Yes. I need a picture. I'm like eighty mm, percent sure. American Beauty. Did you see Baby Driver? No. Did you see the? Okay, no. Oh. That's that's who I thought it was. I was just... All right. So Kevin Spacey, um, one of the new actors of Star Trek Discovery, came out saying that he was sexually assaulted by Kevin Spacey. 
When he was 14. When he was 14. And then Kevin Spacey to cover it up said that he was gay. gay, Which is hilarious. Uh, Yes. Okay. (laughs) He has a wife and he has kids. But yes. Uh, so America we live in. Yeah, so Netflix <laughs> so Netflix is again so Netflix at first suspended House of Cards and then said after season six, uh, Netflix is no longer going to have House of Cards. As long as he is tied to the production. He's it's been something. fired. Alright. I thought it's a, I, but I read an article that said as long as he's tied to production they won't continue. That actually surprises me. Usually Netflix doesn't <laughs> give up on this shit. They're still they're they're gonna make a spin off. Yeah. The wife House probably. Of Cards. I bet. So that yeah. that's 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 the thing that I'm getting at. Um, this is in light of all the Hollywood um, sexual assaults. Like it's really. I'm going. I'm not defending sexual assaults, at all. But there there are. And that's where you should stop. Yeah. No, yeah. I understand where you're coming from. But we were talking about <laughs> the du- you and I were talking about the Dustin Hoffman one. Yeah, I, I was. I'm fucking shocked. Well, like, my thing. Okay, my thing about that is, um, <coughs> there is a lot of things that like, why now? You know, like, and I get it. I I get that people are like maybe people women are after afraid. Bill Cosby. I was gonna yeah, say Bill that. Cosby even got acquitted for that shit. That's the thing that makes me mad I about mean, that one. I mean, that, yeah, yeah but like, just after, I mean, like, all those people came out, I feel like people are just coming out. Of all, right. And about 50% are true and 50 aren't. I don't right. Know. The entire population of the United States. Right, but that's what I mean. That's, that's just like a that. man of statistic, by the way. Right. <laughs> yes, I represent my thoughts. I don't know <laughs> fuck all about anything in Hollywood. Right. But, like, oh, my birds. thing about this is, is that, like, <laughs> it, it, in general, when we have to talk about sexual assault, it's allegations before proven. So I feel like a lot of these dudes and women being put on blast right now on this were allegations. Harvey Weinstein's <coughs> physical proof that he was sexually assaulting people. Kevin Spacey obviously probably wasn't the smart move to say I'm gay. Dustin Hoffman probably had the best one as he apologized. I'm just afraid that like Tom Hanks is next. I think yeah, that would make really no, sad. Not Tom Hanks. Please, not, no. not, not every, not every, not everyone's dad, Tom Hanks. Not Tom Hanks. <laughs> but okay. like, I couldn't watch Forrest Gump anymore. Okay. Yep. <laughs> is that what you were going with? I was gonna be like, Tom Hanks is the guy who plays Forrest Gump, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and Sully. And then he said that, and I was like, Sully. all right, good. And then Jim Bell in Apollo like 13. Sully, I mean, Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We may not know the joke. Yes, but. even Sully, the movie did. Yeah. But, like, where where I stand on this is, like, I don't think, like, it, it is, like I said, like, even, fuck, fuck dude, even Neil deGrasse Tyson is being accused of sexual assault now. From a former TA. Not black, black science, science man. I know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate him? It's because he's That's black. the stupidest fucking things. Like, just because he wants to prove people wrong, is that why you hate him? No, he just, he throws out, like, ah, god damn it. You know, Terrible you one liner to or something? Uh, incite the issue, but if people are really going, if this is a whole he said, she said case, and people are just going after people they don't like, I am honestly surprised no one's gone after Jaden Smith. Yeah, that's not even like twenty or something. I don't know. That's <coughs> Will Smith's son. second son. Oh yeah, that's right. He has an older son that everyone forgets about because it was from a previous marriage. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Stranger Things star The X Files season eleven has cast former child star Haley Joe Osment in a mystery role within the Walter Skinner centered episode. <laughs> I'm fine with this. I love Haley Joe Osment. Yes. That dude hit a f- puberty. Did not. Was not kind to him though. No, okay. his face is weird. I don't. Well, fuck no, fuck no, I don't know who that is. That's not a big name. Have you not seen the, the Sixth Son? No. Or uh, uh, Joe Osment. No, it's him. Pay it forward. <laughs> oh shit! <coughs> he was in. <coughs> That's Taylor Joe Osment. Both of them. Play a guy on Tool Time. I thought that was. Good. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's Al. That's Aaron <laughs> Taylor. That's Aaron Taylor Johnson. I never watched. Him. Yeah, the three names here are killer name. Bad. Yeah. Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown says she she wants to go on playing the newly punk Eleven on the show for at least five seasons. Ah, uh, no. No. I think it should end at three or four. What what else can you do? I don't know. Right? They kind of, like, stopped everything for the most part. Classic anthology series is coming, Twilight Zone is coming back to <coughs> life thanks to CBS and Jordan Peele. But it's going to be on all access, which is another stupid like, thing, which really annoys me. Like, 
making new episodes or just reruns? Making new episodes. But it's going to be all access still. Yeah. I feel like that, that would be Which right. Which is about. stupid. Wait, keeping it black and white or mm-hmm. bring it back? No, he's mad at the CBS All Access screening. It's, it's going to go to All Access, which means like even if you're like you're paying for like cable for CBS, you're going to pay for another sus- uh, streaming subscription service to watch that TV show. Like, but like, how many people yeah. are paying for cable? Like, but how many people like like technically our cable's in our rent, but I know yeah. we wouldn't be buying cable. Yeah, we wouldn't right have now. cable if we if we yeah. To be fair, yeah. most people pirate things anymore. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not even that. Like, I feel like I feel it's just like, a, it's just a philosophy of you know. If you're gonna have it, why don't you just you know make it free? Because my well, my or thing is when you combine like easily. when you combine all of the streaming services, then I'm counting CBS All Access and I'm combining all the other streaming services. It basically is essentially a cable bill that I'm paying. So like I don't think cable is a very reasonable thing to have anymore. Yeah. <coughs> but that's here nor there. So Seth MacFarlane's Star Trek inspired comedy series will return to the second season on Fox oh. as confirmed in a new tweet. Is it done? Network. Is it good? No, it's oh, it's going. really good. Yeah. yeah. I think I it's funny. To, I need to catch up. I've been meaning to watch it. It's a very uh, interesting. Been, and it is actually has double the number of viewers than Star Trek Discovery. Nice. So, I believe it. The, I mean, the it's, name Seth MacFarlane probably calls. Me. Right, but I think it... The first episode was rough, in my opinion, but like, it just takes off. A lot of the first episodes are rough. Where, yeah. where, but this is why people, I think, are leaning towards Orville than Discovery. Um, obviously, Orville is going to have a shaky first season. Star Trek The Next Generation had a second shaky first That's season. That's true. Like, you got to give these space dramas, like, a, a season or two to get their feeding. My thing about Star Trek Discovery is that you... Star Trek Discovery is literally fan service, the fucking show. show because they... Rain Wilson plays a character from... He plays Harvey Mudd. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, cool. That's fine. Great. Klingons don't have horseshoe crabs on their forehead. Thumbs up. <laughs> awesome. And, like I said, like, I don't mind Discovery... But like Discovery's like trying like their their build up was like we're trying to be edgy because we can say fuck now on CBS All Access. I'm like that's great. Like your story to me is still not interesting enough for me to continuously watch it and or buy the CBS All Access streaming service. And I'm gonna end with this. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. I really enjoy it. I've seen Wait, some of it. John Rockfield said it. Yeah, the one on that one. Yeah. So they are ending the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and in 2018 bringing up called Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the series. It will star Cat Graham and Josh Brenner. Um, Josh Brenner's from Silicon Valley. He's the super, like, they're all super nerdy. I really can't say that. So any, like, he's going to play Donatello. Cat Graham is going to play April O'Neil, which the new thing is April O'Neil is going to be African-American instead of a redhead Caucasian lady. That shit. I know it doesn't bother me. Uh, no, it's a prequel? No, it's a reboot. What? Why? So, and let me finish. Mm-hmm. Omar Miller mm-hmm. will be playing Raphael. Ben Schwartz from Park and Recreation will be playing Leonardo. And Brandon Michael Smith will be playing Michelangelo. Um, while Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will change several conventions from the previous TMNT adaptation, the biggest of all will seem that Raphael will now serve as the leader of the team, while Leonardo will be depicted as a self-professed coolish brother. Uh, what? Well, I can do without that. So Raphael is the, like, and the turtles are going to go by size definition now, <clears throat> like they did in, like, the live-action movie. That's how I'm feeling. Like, so Donatello's going to be lanky. Michael Angelo is going to be athletically built. Raphael is going to be like the big brooder, brute guy. So basically they're doing what Wolverine and the X-Men did, where put Wolverine as the leader instead of like Cyclops and have Cyclops be a back character. Yeah. But is Cyclops ever really the leader? Yeah. Yeah. Cyclops has always been the leader of the X-Men. Like if you yeah, watch the classic... Not like, oh, well, in the movies, yeah. In the TV shows, too. He's <laughs> been the de facto leader. Yeah, that's just not... Always technically, but but like I for feel the like most the guy part, the guy who's lived for three centuries has a little bit more experience than the teenager. But he has amnesia. Goes, I, he has amnesia. Still, <laughs> like, there's no still. Three centuries. Still just trying to get under your skin. Like a century. Right, and Amazon is in talks for a live action Lord of the Rings TV show. No, based on uh, Lord of the Rings. No, I don't know what to think about that. They already no. had movies. No, I would what say else yes. Do? I like it. It's I like have game mixed feelings. Game why, and why do you have? It won't be like Game of Thrones. I know why. And why do you have mixed feelings though? Well, like 
I don't know. It's like kind of beating. Like I love the Lord of the Rings uh, history and lore and all that, but like if it's good, it'd be but great. But like if it's show. like beating a dead horse, like you see what the happened to the Hobbit. The Hobbit. But personally, like, don't you? Th- but the Lord of the Rings books are the Hobbit literally scraped from the barrel. The Lord of the Rings books are very thick and immense. Don't you think though that it would? Like, well, I, I could see if I did like different stuff. Like the summer realm would be cool to have could, stuff about, or like could uh, cover the fucking. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it was called. The book where it's just like a bunch of different stories that he never really like. Uh, finished. unfinished tales. Yeah, basically. Okay. Right. I mean, it could just do uh, any of those that sort of fit into that. I doubt it will. I don't want it to center around the ring. I mean, I mean, like. It, I don't think it will. I mean, I think it will. I think the, I think the ring will be mentioned, and it might be like the cause of whatever. Like as long as it's doing, like. But I don't think it'll be centered around like. I don't want it to be like if it's not around like focused around the ring part. Like, okay, cool. I, I I'm happy since everything is centered. Around, like, I don't, there's yeah. other stuff that's not within the Lord of the Rings like series, like in, in all the other books and shit. There's stuff that's just not about the ring, which is great, which yeah, I like. Yeah, that, that's what I mean though. Like, it could be that the ring, you know, is like, you know, we're, we're fighting Sauron because of the ring, but it's not like they're not. The ring. Yeah, it's not like they're doing everything to try and do it. I don't know. But it's I think it, like, if it is the series that, that is going for Lord of the Rings, I think it'll, like, there's a lot of things Mary and Pippin were doing during that time when they were all separated. That Smoking a lot of weed. Smoking a lot of weed. But you know what I mean, though? <laughs> when they were captured by the orcs, there was a lot of things going on in that <coughs> part. And there's a lot of things that did get cut that I found interesting in the books. So Tom Bombadil. There's a possibility the, that they could... Who cares about Tom Bombadil, Jay? The Shire was taken over by uh, Saruman, because he yeah. wasn't killed you... in the books. Yeah, so I, I mean, like, know. that's the thing. There's a lot of things that are, uh, you know, could be understandable in it. Um, so we just have two questions. Linda Momsen asks, um, There's been rumors hearing that Tessa Thompson, Scarlett Johansson, Brie Larson and a bunch of other female actors in the Marvel Cinematic Universe are lobbying to have a all-female cast for a possible Avengers and or Marvel movie. What do you think about it? That's fine. I mean, I mean if they can do it for DC. Marvel for movie, Marvel. yes, but not Avengers. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't be the Avengers. Well, it could be like, Wasn't it could be there, reserved uh, Avengers or like other Avengers. Uh, that. Was it like the, the, there was a female group, because I know She-Hulk was in it, because mm-hmm. I forget who they try to beat the shit out of, but he um, just, like, fucking hands their asses to them. Like, they're women, or...? No, it's okay. just, like, he insulted, I think it was She-Hulk that he insulted, and then she gets them all together, and then he just... Destroys them. <sighs> Might have been Red Hulk. It was Red Hulk, all, yeah. They all fought. I don't remember what their group is called, but they could do that. Right, I think that would work. It's, it might be. It might just be called the Lady Avengers. I genuinely don't remember. Yeah, that'd be, like, like Marvel is not very creative because they have like the Young Avengers, I, the New Avengers. I keep thinking of the Great Lakes Avengers. I'm like, I know that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna know what the fuck they are. I don't even hardly know what they are. I just know they're Sorry. great. You're fine. They're like the West Coast Avengers. Yeah, no, the West. There's like there's so many different Avengers Terrible teams. Dude. There's like the Young Avengers, the Team Avengers, the X Avengers. But yeah, so it, it might just be yeah, the Lady Avengers. But yeah, they could do that. I'd be fine with it. I'd actually be down to see some Like, I would like to see, like, Valkyrie teaming up with Scarlet Witch and, uh, Scar- not Scarlet Johansson, Black Widow. Black Widow. <laughs> At the same time, they'd have to find a way a to A reasonable way to bring them together. Into their, yeah, into their universe. Like, like, what are all the men Avengers doing? Phase Phoenix. And they right. can't, I mean, they can't just bring in Red Hulk to fight him. I mean, it's fucking not a thing. So, Not yet. Just turn Bruce Banner red. They bring no. Gamora in. Like Gamora's like, "Hey, ladies, I heard we're having a girls' night." There's an evil <laughs> she bad might guy. Have been in it. Yeah. I mean, well, like that's what I mean. Is like lady girls' night. It's like a girls' night equivalent. That's like a comedy created by Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. If if they do, it, it'll, it'll definitely be a while. Yeah. And, and I, I don't think it's something they have planned. I think that'd be right, something that like enough people would anymore? want, and then they're like, oh, right. Right. Dude, he's new. Yeah, of course he's gonna survive. No, I said Black Widow. You said not Black Widow. Oh, I thought you said Black Widow. <coughs> yeah. Uh, Cassie Cabin asks, yeah. are all citizens of Asgard... Yes, yeah, that's true. Are all citizens of Asgard Asgard's gods, or... No. Mm, I don't think so. They're an alien... Okay, so in, in the Marvel Universe, and this is even in the comics, they're 
technically an alien race. Yeah. And, like, our Norse mythology is based on what they did. Because Odin conquered the nine yeah. nine realms. So, like, they're not gods, but... They're they'd super be humans. Better than, yeah, they'd be better than people. Right. They're like super strong aliens. It's they're Kryptonians. They're super yeah. so, uh, I don't so, even yeah. know if they're that powerful, really. You know, but Kryptonians, Kryptonians wouldn't have that power if they were on with the Yellow Sun. That's the only reason why they're I so... Know, but I'm, just, oh. <coughs> I'm just saying. But well, like, that's the only equivalent that I have, is that they're an advanced civilization. Because like, even, are, when, even in when the Thor movies, it talks about how they fought all these fights. It's like, the As, you know, fuck a load of Asgardian regular people still died. Right. Or, like, in Marvel, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., there's an Asgardian, too. He's, like, a historian. He talks about, like, how he got there. And he was just, like, a oh, stone right, mason yeah. got recruited into the military, basically, and just stayed. And it's, like, he's not, like, they still can beat him. It's not like he's as powerful as, like, Thor or anything. But they're, like, they're long, they have high longevity, though. Yeah, it's it's kind of like Sif, I guess. She's, she's probably on the more powerful end of Asgardian citizen, but not on, like, Thor and Odin level. Right, because so it's like she's blood. she's superhuman, but she's not like like Shield can still take her down pretty easy. Like it's not right. So they're not gods technically. Like uh, not that's, even... yeah, that's a big theme. Like in the Avengers, the original one, I remember Loki says it where it's like you know they think we're gods. How about we put that to the test? And he drops him out of the fucking helicarrier. And so it's like they're you know they're technically mortal. Just all of them. They're not gods. But right, they can die. They're just really powerful. Like, you know, people like people die. But yeah, so that's been our podcast. Thanks guys for listening. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.